Have you ever wondered how YouTube sensation Flamingo really makes his money? Cause I do. When the question is asked of which single creator makes the most money on YouTube, after we see names like Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, or maybe KSI. Yes, 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 yes. But as time goes on, there has always been one name that just flies under the radar. And today, I believe it's time to take notice. And his name is Flamingo. Interesting findings on the Roblox catalog. I don't mean all this stuff. And, uh, don't ask. I can fly. Normal thing to just say on Roblox. One man sitting in a room playing Roblox all day has been able to create a wave in gaming that no one has seen before. For comparison, we all know Corey Kenshin, right? Freddy, get your head out of your ass. Now, this is how predictable y'all are. If I just left that edit without saying anything, all the comments will be, Go to 9 minutes 52 seconds, Corey said the On his best month, he pulled about 193 million views. Amazing. Mr. Beast Gaming, best month, 338 million views. Oh, it's Mr. Beast. What do you expect? But Flamingo, by himself, in one month, 425 million views. And he did all this by just sitting in a room with no collabs, just him and Roblox. I'm Fiji. Now, if you don't already know, you may be asking, who is Flamingo? But more importantly, how much money does he really make? And I think I got the answer. But before we can do that, let's take a trip all the way back to the beginning where it all started. The history of Flamingo's YouTube career. Albert Spence Arts, also known as Flamingo, first started posting videos in 2011. For the next three years, he made two channels named Roblox Hub and Roblox Skate Magazine, which started his YouTube journey. Albert went on to post small clips and videos about Roblox, but saw no success. Now, Albert was around 15 at the time, but this was just the start of his journey. Fast forward to 2014, Albert made a new channel called Albert Stuff. And it was at this moment he learned that his dreams of being a YouTube were no longer just a dream anymore. Follow me on Twitter. You know exactly what I'm about to say. This may sound weird. Hear me out. Please don't leave the video yet. His channel originally focused on gameplay, specifically playing Roblox, of course, and his main game at the time brought him a lot of popularity, and that game was Apocalypse Rising. For the next few months, he kept up his steady, consistent uploads, and Albert's dreams of being a YouTuber finally came true. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, coming at you live from my college's parking lot. All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Guess the Emoji. Flood Escape. I will play Flood Escape. Yes. I've probably went outside on purpose like three times. Reason number three. Harassment? Offensive item? Yes. Yo, Tango, yo, Tango, yo, Tango. But the Flamingo back then was nothing like the Flamingo we know now. He was kind of like me. No gross bad words can get through, so uh, we got to be very careful. Gross p Oops. Okay, maybe they just don't give a what you put as your name. All right, let me redo this. Let me just actually start off with the so good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Okay, maybe not. But at the time, this type of content was okay. Fast forward to modern day YouTube. They ain't let nothing slide in 2023. You see these yellow marks on my videos right here? One word, demonetization. And demonetization was actually Albert's middle name. But regardless, Albert wanted to be a YouTuber. And to sustain his life as one, this wasn't the ideal way to do it. Ever since the apocalypse that happened, when Logan did his thing five years ago, YouTube was not the same. Channels have been getting destroyed left and right, being taken down for many reasons. Reasons. And Albert's stuff would have been no different. He was not safe at all. But before YouTube got the chance to get the Albert stuff, poof, he was gone. Now Flamingo didn't delete his Albert stuff channel right away, but he knew if he wanted to stay a YouTuber, he had to make some changes to his content before it was too late. In 2017, Albert made the decision to leave his Albert stuff channel and start a new channel under the name Flamingo. Hey, what's Flamingo? Is Flamingo a gaming channel that posts every single day? No, it isn't actually. Flamingo is just one of those weird seagull things. If you're seeing this video, the reason for this decision is not publicly known, but Flamingo has stated he wanted to start fresh and have more creative control over his content. In other words, the era of cancel culture was right around the corner and Albert was well before his time. He knew it was coming. I want to apologize to the internet. I owe you an apology. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm only here to say that I'm so sorry. This marked the end of our stuff, but the start of Flamingo, who is loved today. Now, how did Flamingo get his channel to over 10 million subscribers in a short amount of time? On July 6, 2017, Flamingo was born. Now, originally, Albert found his success through his funny troll videos he made. So this time around, he decided to do the same thing, but he would do it in the most kid-friendly way possible. No more edgy jokes, no more swearing, and his fans were a little upset at first, but after a Twitter post, his fans understood. I want says, why did you stop uploading on Albert's stuff? 
Albert's response. I wanted to YouTube forever, and the way YouTube was making certain changes, controversial content isn't really possible anymore in the long term. Videos are really the only thing I want to do, and I want to be able to do it for as long as possible. Now this right here was probably one of the greatest business decisions Albert has ever made in his life. As to how Flamingo managed to gain 11 million subs in just a few years, it's something I'm not even sure I could answer. But what I can say is through a combination of consistent posting, engaging content, building a strong community on his channel, he was able to do it. He consistently uploaded new videos on a regular schedule, and he also interacted with his audience through comments and social media. Additionally, if we take a look at Flamingo's channel, you can see here that the work he put in still continues to this day. 2.2 thousand uploads at the time of this recording. Could you imagine? Now for the moment we've been waiting for, time for scientist Fiji to get to work. How much money does Flamingo really make? To answer this question, we must factor three things. One, the niche he makes his videos in. Two, his CPM and how much he gets paid per thousand views. And lastly, three, his monthly view count. Well, for starters, we already know he's in the gaming niche, Roblox specifically. And since I have a Roblox channel too, subscribe, we can figure out a CPM. Now CPMs differ, not just for what game you're playing, but what you do in the video. We must take into account Albert does not swear, and on top of that, he's in the upper echelon of YouTubers. I'll explain what this means in a second. Now people who don't swear and make videos for a younger audience will naturally just get paid more. And for Roblox videos, here's a friend of mine. If we look at his channel, no swearing, he gets paid $8 per every thousand views. But Flamingo is not your average creator. He is actually in the upper class of YouTubers. According to Kawaba Cop, once you get in this class of YouTubers, which is the top 10%, you're actually paid more. Assuming Flamingo's in there, assuming Flamingo's in this class, which he definitely is, at minimum, we could make his cost per thousand views $10. Now we have the three variables we need. On his best month, Flamingo got 425 million views. If we take 425 million in money with $1 CPM, that's $425,000. But with our CPM, hold on. I'll do it with you. 425,000 to average times 10 gives you $4,250,000 in just one month. But that's not all. He also has a merch store. Come look at this, flimflamshop.com. And if we calculate the store's average price per item, we get a whopping number of just $35. Now, typically in business, we have this thing called a rate of conversion. This means for every 1 million views, typically you see a 2% return on profit. So if 2% of people out of his 11 million subscribers just buys one item, this comes right out to about 200,000 people. And if you do the math, the people times the money gives you $7.7 .7 million. Gross income with just merchant assets alone, Flamingo could take home about $11.9 million a month. But it's not hard to believe. Have you seen his house? Or living in a mansion? And nobody even talking about it, but it's crazy. But if you think that's insane, you're gonna wanna watch this video right here. And I'm gonna explain to you the darkest secret behind VTubers and the truth about how much money they make. Later days.